Hi everybody, this is Sithi Readings and hi Scorpio. Let's see what messages are going to show up for you guys today. In case this reading resonates with you, Scorpio, there will be a link in the description box to the extended for you, as well as your yearly predictions will be in the description box below. Okay, let's have a look. Four of Swords. Looks like you're wanting to take a break from something. You're letting go of something. But more so than letting go, this is like something is on your mind, okay? But I feel like you're not talking about it. You're not really... How do I say this? Um, yeah, whatever this is, I don't feel like you're talking about it. It's just something on your mind. But you're taking a step back from if that makes sense. Um, oh, the Four of Cups and the Four of uh, Swords together. Mm. looks like you're dissatisfied with something um scorpio um emotionally you may feel like when you want someone they're not there and it's it's just like yeah some of you feel like when you when you want someone close to you they're not there and it bothers you okay You're definitely, yeah, look at that. So you're in the phase here in your life where you're contemplating whether or not this is worth it, whether or not you want to be a part of this, okay? What happened in the past, Eight of Cups? Maybe you recently decided to walk away from something. Look at that, look at that. So, oh my God, oh my God, Scorpio, what is this reading? So it started off quite different and then it's it's going in a different direction now. So I do feel like Scorpio, there's someone approaching you, there's someone coming towards you and this person is in love with you, whoever they are. Okay. Um, because with the Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups here, it's like love is coming your way when you least expect it. Because the Four of Swords and the Four of Cups, you know, this person is not really expecting love. They're they're in their head about things. They're like, okay, I have a long ass to do list. <laughs> I need to get things done. You know, love is good, but love is not a priority for me. That's what this mindset is. Recently, Eight of Cups, you may have walked away from someone or something, emotionally detached from something, um, because it wasn't practically making sense for you, okay? And Nine of Pentacles as well. So the focus is on your money. The focus is on your sense of stability, okay? And um, I do feel like some of you are making good money, but you want to improve, okay? You want to do better. And for those of you who, like, are just... I don't know, but it's, it's, I feel like the Nine of Pentacles is telling me you're going to be making good money regardless of what your current situation is like, okay? We have the Ace of Cups here with the Two of Cups. I'm really liking this because it's like someone is approaching you with lots of love and effort and care, okay? Especially with that Two of Cups being right next to the Ace of Cups. It's like a new start here or a new journey here with the two of cups it, this love is mutual okay some of you are going to be meeting a new person scorpio okay mm. queen of wands yes so it's like you're in your own zone here you're looking good smelling good doing things that you know whatever this is this is good okay you're you're confident and you're confident in your abilities, okay? Or at least trying to be. You know, the Queen of Wands energy is a glow-up energy or trying. It's not an energy of trying, but I feel like some of you are presently there or you could be thriving to be in this energy of confidence and, you know, um, looking good, smiling good, all of that. Two of Pentacles is uh, someone who is approaching you, Five of Wands. I feel like, um, Scorpio, there's someone you view as... Um, 
mess okay or a situation here that you feel like is very messy you feel like every time you deal with a person or every time you talk to a specific person there's some conflict and drama and chaos so this could be with a friend a love uh, a lover or a family member but it definitely looks like you're trying to avoid this by moving forward uh hermit and the ace of swords here so I do like this energy. This is you moving forward. Um, you've been really thinking things through, okay? This is not like you're making a hasty decision. You've been putting a lot of thought into what you want to do next. And I feel like a lot of you are in the energy of letting go and freeing yourself from something here that you were fighting for in the past, but it was seeming like a dead-end situation. So you may be like, okay, this is something that um this is something that i need to leave behind or at least you know free my energy from this you have the knight of cups here okay judgment seven of wands scorpio you have a decision to make in the in the near future there is definitely someone approaching you with love and care and affection you know the knight of cups is a very romantic energy or just someone here who's really really into you specifically with that judgment card too we have the five of pentacles um What's that? Not pentacles. I feel like Scorpio, when it comes to your finances, you may need to take things a little bit slow, okay? Uh, there could also be an expense coming up for you in the near future, but I don't feel like this is too concerning. For now, this is really about freeing yourself, letting go and embarking on a new journey. The full energy is, it can be a little reckless, but it's very much an energy of a risk taker. And I feel like this could be in regards to love. Some of you may open up to a person here, like you never thought that you were going to open up to them or even entertain that. But I feel like with the Fool and the Ace of Cups, you're opening your heart space for someone. Okay, some of you may be leaving a toxic situation behind as well. Let's see, what's the Four of Swords and the... Four of Cups for Scorpio. Four of Pentacles. <laughs> you have four, four, four. So Scorpio, some of you are going to be seeing four, four, four a lot. Or you may have already been seeing that. Or the month of April is going to be significant for you. Because what I'm really getting here is that right now, it's, it's like the situation right now is very different from what the future energies are. And Four of Pentacles, Four of Swords, and the Four of Cups is like, um, I want certain things to happen, but they're not happening. So I'm, I'm going to adjust, okay? And I'm going to do the best that I can and, you know, just focus on what's in front of me the best that I can. This is that energy. You may also be holding back from expressing too much at the moment because you may feel like it's not necessary okay what's the ace of cups right there ace of wands ace of wands of wands you know you're getting here three cards that are talking about new beginnings 
Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, and then you have the Two of Wands. Two of Wands is more so a card of planning and moving forward, which is where I feel like your mindset is with the Fool and the Two of Wands. Uh, you may also be, you know, considering what are your long-term goals and plans and things like that. But with the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups, Scorpio, I'm telling you there's something new in the air for you. There's a new chapter in your life that's going to start or a lot of you are going to be inclined towards even, you know, starting this new beginning or perhaps moving your energy towards this new beginning okay hmm. let's see what is this conflict about what's the five of wands for scorpio what's the five of wands six of swords yeah you're moving on from this conflict or whatever this energy is that's creating conflict or this energy of resistance around you with the six of swords energy you're determined to move past this and you've already made a decision with the full card that okay i'm done with this or i'm over this i i do not want to take part in this no more okay some of you could also be thinking about changing your uh job or your career or you know changing something big you know it's, it's a big change that you've been thinking about for some of you it could be that or looking for a new home and stuff like that but it's it's just an energy of movement out with the old and with the new the energies that are creating resistance you're you're hoping and wishing to leave them behind and so in the future with the full card you are okay this is a good reading because i feel like even though you don't see it coming scorpio you have good stuff coming in for you um something here that's gonna make you happy specifically you know like i don't see love readings to be this good very often but it is a good energy of someone approaching you and there's mutual love between you two okay um let's see So your person's feelings for you, their view of you, actions they plan on taking, where is it going, and your advice. And your new person's energy. I'm going to reveal that in your extended along with your blessings, challenges, what do you need to know, okay? And also give you your self-love message. I'm going to try to cover as much as possible in your extended. So do have a look at it. It will be linked below for you. Scorpio uh, let's see what are your moon messages because we do have a, lo a lunar eclipse coming up really soon so let's see what's going to show up for that show me message for Scorpio what's the message Prosperity lies ahead and the energy is gaining momentum. I'm telling you that, you know, the time that you're moving forward towards is prosperous, new beginnings. Taurus energy is all about also feeling comfortable. Um, so I like this. Specifically, if you start something new, I really feel like Scorpio is going to be good for you. This is a time of new beginnings. This is a time of you closing cycles. So it's it's almost looking like for Scorpio, New Year is starting now, okay? You have money coming in. Trust me, I don't see this card very often, okay? Someone has a crush on you, and I could see that coming from a mile away, okay? Someone's, uh, okay, let's see. Craving physical intimacy with you and then we have mirror mirroring each other's behavior So there is someone here who's wanting you I feel like this person is trying to mirror your behavior Like if you talk to them then they talk to you or you know the kind of energy that you project Is the kind of energy they're trying to give to you because I feel like this person is a little afraid Like if they do something to out, outside the box, you know what your reaction is going to be like but most certainly, um, Scorpio, your energies are really, really good right now. This is a great time to start something new and also, you know, put your energy towards starting something new and moving on, you know, moving on, moving forward. So that's about it, Scorpio. Those were the messages that showed up for you. I hope that you were open to receive these messages and I hope that you got something out of the reading. 
it was a pleasure to read for you guys today and i'll see you guys next time bye bye